Peking has a magical ability to create moments and mark memories in our lives, and I think it's special for that. Someone whose baking has celebrated memories in our national life is Fiona Cairns, baker to the royals. God. Welcome, Fiona. Thank you, Paul. For making Wills and Kate's cake to have a cup of tea with me in my kitchen. Oh. Where, is it, where does it rank? Uh, pretty high. Ah, thank you. <laughs> um, That's what I was supposed to I say. I mean, amazing. I mean, to be able to give him that honour of producing the cake for the yes. for the for Wills and Kate. I didn't make it all on my own. You know, there, there was a team of us. Yeah. But we realised that it was a great honour. But we were we were fairly we were worried about it as well. Obviously. Yeah, but I can imagine. The the cake itself. Obviously, you have a picture here. I think that picture is a work of art. I mean, the cake itself, stunning. Well, it was seventeen cakes. <sighs> eight, yes. Eight uh, eight high. So how, and, uh, how, how tall was it then from the ground? It's about a metre. A metre so off. So it's about, about that height. Yeah. So if it was sitting on there, it'd be Yeah, it that. was. Yeah. That's an impressive cake. To get to that level, there must have been quite a journey. I mean, from where you started from. I mean, where did this passion oh, for, for, well, for cakes actually come from? By accident, actually. Because I originally trained in, uh, I went to art college near where... <laughs> so did you're, I. You, oh, you did too. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. Then I got married and I couldn't cook. At all, and my husband said, "This is not But you not couldn't good. cook, or, or no, I didn't know how to cook. Oh, you I didn't wasn't know how interested, to cook. Okay. really. But I decided once I got married to go on a cookery course, so I did that. Yeah. And I was better at patisserie and decorating, so I then got a job in a Michelin-starred um, restaurant, and then it slowly took off. It, it, it's, it's an inspirational story because it shows that if you have a passion pa for something, absolutely. then you can do whatever you want. No, you and I want. love it. Obviously, my, my thing is, is puddings, pies, breads, mm, pastries. Mm, mm. So what, what were your memories of puddings when you were growing up? Is it something that you, know, you, you remember fondly? I do. The memory of, that I have is about the French tarts. So I'm going to show you all we're going to make together. Mm -hmm. A tart au framboise, mm -hmm. raspberry tart. I like, I like raspberries anyway, anything with raspberries like on them. Oh, jolly good. You, I've you're, got that right then. You're leaning against <laughs> an open door. Please, my kitchen is yours. Oh, if you need me to you. do anything, just let me know if you want to know where anything well, goes. Well, I most certainly do. I want you to help me. I love it when people show me recipes that mean something to them. And Fiona's raspberry tart is no exception. Fiona starts by making the pastry cream filling. She heats some double cream and adds vanilla pods. I love making uh, the creme pat, they call it in the kitchen nowadays, creme don't they? Creme pat, OK, so that's what we're going to do. So the whole idea of, of this um, raspberry tart basically stems from your, your trips over to France. A long time ago. So I don't know how many years ago. It was in the 60s. It was in the 60s. 60s, right, so it's 60s. a long time ago. <laughs> Are you working out how old I am? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Go on. Um, and I used to go and stay with my French exchange. Yep. Yep. Moving towards you. And uh, Madame was very slim. Mm. And I wasn't particularly in those mm. days. And so um, she wouldn't let me eat all these wonderful tarts. And I just, every time I see them all displayed like that, it just brings me back. Now, how mean she was. Yeah, exactly. Mean. <laughs> you watching, madam? You think so? Yeah, absolutely. Fiona's creamed together four egg yolks and caster sugar. So that's really thick now. It's much lighter. She's adding plain flour to thicken it up. And then, we're going to pour over half the milk. Oh, the mixture. Yes. Yeah. Okay, got you. So if I grab this, yeah. I think it. Oh, yeah, it's very hot. Let me get a towel. So I'll pour some of this over there. Fiona wants the cream poured in slowly. If it's added too quickly, the eggs will scramble and she'll have to start again. Ooh. There's the pods. Fantastic. So you take right. the pods out at this stage? Yeah, OK. Fiona's going to cook out the flour and thicken this to a custard. Then it's left in the fridge to go nice and cold. And you've got one in the fridge? There you Should go. Yeah. Yes, turn it off. There you go. There That's beautiful. Then all the custard needs is some whipped cream folding in. Oh, that was quick. It was, wasn't it? We've obviously done this before. As well as the tart we're making, Fiona's brought in some more of her favourite cakes. 
the idea of, of these particular um, puddings that you've got here, I mean, where do these come from? Well, this one is a clementine star anise. Do you mm. mind if I try a slice no, of, of this? of course I don't mind. This looks lovely. So it's quite a few clementines there. I love clementines, though. Do you? That's, the Chris that's Christmas for me. It is, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, with the star anise, I just love, love the two together. But I, I use quite a lot of spices. Yeah. Because my husband's Indian, so I use um, star anise, cardamom, chilli, you know, all the... Classic, classic, classic flavours. Um, right. And um, ginger. And, and like to use them in, in baking, mm. too, so... Lovely. But warmed up, I think that's how that... You're eating it cold. Mm. Oh, Do you yeah. like it? I'll tell you what. You said this, this is um, chocolate? Chocolate with cardamom. Nice. I mean, I, I like chocolate and cardamom, but, again, it's, it's finding that balance, isn't it, between the two that's really tricky. I love this pear thing on well, the top. Well, would you like... I bought some Poire William for you, oh, because yeah. that is made with Poire William. Oh, really? Have you I seen one of those? I have for ages. So you know that they put the bottle in the orchard yeah. over the blossom. Don't you think it's amazing? I think it's incredible. So there you I are. I've had this for ages. Well, you could have a, there's a there's quite a lot of of the poire William. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to pour it. Down. You're supposed to sip it, and it's in the um, in the cheesecake. Okay. Good. Yeah, very good. I grow hairs on my chest. So that's a ginger base, biscuit yeah. base, yeah. and it's just a light Poire William mousse. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, <sighs> you like that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Right, so there you crack on. That's. Uh, well, I'll crack on fine. while you drink the. <laughs> you drink it. Just spreading that over the the tart cooked pastry case. Yeah. And then I'm going to finish it with the raspberries. I'll be your sous chef and get rid of oh, all these for you. You can be the you. sous chef. That's fine. No by problem me. at all. And um, I'm starting on the outside and just working in. Once you've covered all that, you mm. use is is this, this is a red currant? That's the red glaze currant. with a little rose water. Ah, so that's already in there. So that's just it's already in there. And then rose petals on top of that. That's it. I mean, it's so effective. All oh, right. That's, oh, that's okay. fantastic. <laughs> there. <laughs> So, I'm baking something that I hope will get added to her list of memorable bakes. My pear frangipan tart. Let me explain how you make a pear frangipan tart. And it's a sort of hybrid between a bakewell tart and a Normandy apple tart. Now, here I've blind baked a sweet pastry shell. Now, on top of that, I'm going to add some apricot jam. Now, this is the bakewell tart sort of start, really. Normally, you'd have this at the bottom of a bakewell tart, wouldn't you? Well, bakewell tart, I... Isn't there some controversy as to which jam is at the bottom? Yes. yes. What, what do you think it should be? I think it should be apricots, but who am I to, who am I to, who am I to say anything? Raspberry or...? I've heard raspberry. I mean, there's about... I think there's about two official ones yeah, out there at there the moment. Are. You can change, the, change it if you want, but I particularly think that the frangipan and apricot really go well together. Mm. The delicious frangipan filling sounds complicated, but it's actually a very straightforward recipe. It's a simple mix of ground almonds, butter, three whole eggs, some flaked almonds and flour to thicken it up. And you mix that into a lovely smooth paste, which you then dollop all over your base. It doesn't have to be an exact science, and I'll tell you why, because this will balloon up slightly in the oven. So try and get it as smooth as you possibly can and fairly even. See, with me, I can't stop it. It just has to be just so. That's topped with tinned half pears, which go perfectly with that almond filling. It's so quick, though. It's amazing. It's, it's yeah. so effective. Yeah. Once you've gone around this and you've covered the top, you can sprinkle some almonds on the top if you wish. Bake at 200 degrees for about 20 minutes. And that is how it comes out of the oven. But when you mention Poire oh. William, which I've got in here, I'm going to add some, because it's quite potent, to the apricot glaze, and then just brush the top with the apricot glaze so the apricot glaze, basically what we've got in here is apricot jam, which I've sieved to get most of the lumps out, added a little bit of water, pop it onto a stove, bring it up to the boil, reduce it slightly, and then I've just added a little thimbleful of the Poire William. And you end up with... Oh, that looks so good. ..a beautiful 
very simple but highly effective frangipan pear tart. The apricot, almond and pear flavours make this a delicious dessert or a tasty treat with an afternoon cuppa. But you're going to have to wait a little bit longer, Fiona, before we get a chance to eat it. It looks amazing. Thank you.